This is a Waymo One, Waymo's self-driving car. And you see this thing on top of its head here, not an ambulance siren, it's a LiDAR sensor. And this is a Tesla Model 3, also capable of self-driving behavior. But as you see, Tesla doesn't use LiDAR at all. In fact, they believe that cameras and computer vision and machine learning is the way to go for autonomous driving. Now, perception systems like LiDAR, radar, cameras for computer vision, these are foundational to getting an autonomous car going, as in the car first needs to know where it is, what it is, what are the things around it. This is foundational. And the fact that there is a fundamental difference in sensor suite adaptation, as in Waymo using LiDAR and uh, Tesla swearing by not using LED, uh, LiDAR and using computer vision, that's a fundamental difference. You know, big two big companies making autonomous cars in two very different ways. So what are the pros? What are the cons? Let's talk about it. Waymo is an autonomous car company owned by Alphabet, the parent company of Google. And their main weapon of choice for self-driving is LiDAR. So basically LiDAR is light detection ranging. Uh, to explain very briefly, basically the, the sensor that sits on top of the car is capable of spinning 360 degrees and thousands of laser beams are being shot out of it every second as it spins, so in every direction. And uh, the laser beam goes and hits something on the road in the environment, an, an obstacle, an object and uh, the light reflects back, hits the sensor. So with this information, we know the distance to the objects and a 3D point cloud is created. So pretty much a heavily detailed 3D reconstruction of the area. So the car knows exactly where it is, exactly where the objects are, the obstacles are, so that it can navigate its way down the road as a self-driving car. So that's handy. On the other hand, Tesla relies on computer vision. So that's a bunch of cameras in all directions on the car using machine learning algorithms to understand and detect objects on the road and then perceive the uh, environment around it. And Tesla say that's enough. They say that LiDAR is too much. LiDAR is overkill. Computer vision has got this problem covered. In fact, Tesla's evil overlord, Mr. Elon Musk, had this to say. LiDAR is, is a fool's errand. And, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Okay, before we start seeing Elon's point of view, let us just consider LiDAR's advantages first. First of all, it is super detailed. Once uh, you've used your self-driving car with LiDAR on in a particular area, the 3D point cloud that it creates is very good. So you can rest assured that the car knows exactly where it is and knows the environment pretty well, which I believe is uh, somewhat comforting when you're sitting in a car that is that is driving by itself. And second of all, LiDAR uses laser, right? So it's physical laser light going and hitting objects and reflecting back. So the distance measurement and the depth perception, I would argue is better than what cameras can um, do because cameras perceive in 2D. But here's the thing, Tesla say that, okay, your LiDAR has good depth perception, safety, everything, those are advantages, but we don't care. We can do that, all of those things, with computer vision alone. And that's a very significant claim to make because LiDAR sensor, the Waymo's LiDAR sensor as of 2019, costs seven and a half thousand US dollars. And the Tesla cameras, a hundred dollars. So Tesla use camera computer vision and when it gets too foggy or too dark and the cameras physically can't see, then they use a bit of cheap radar and that's it. Right, But another sort of con for Waymo is that, okay, they use uh, LiDAR as this big weapon, but then to supplement that, they still use whatever Tesla use. So they use LiDAR as their main thing, and then they use computer vision, and then they use radar as well. So you see, for Waymo to be adding seven and a half thousand extra dollars on the car's cost on this LiDAR sensor, the depth perception and safety advantages that um, LiDAR provides better be pretty damn significant because otherwise this entire argument falls apart pretty easily especially when tesla is saying we don't want it we can do that with uh, we can do the exact same thing same job with hundred dollar cameras Ew. the argument for computer vision is that the road networks around the world and uh, the argument for computer vision is that road networks around the world 
interaction between cars on the road, interaction between cars and pedestrians, everything was designed and has evolved uh, with humans and their eyes and their vision perception as the foundation. That's how it has always been. So let us leverage that by using $100 cameras that Tesla use, using those cameras as our eyes and do computer vision. What's the need for these big 3D point clouds? What is the use for LiDAR is what Tesla said. Another thing about LiDAR is, you know, I said earlier about a car with LiDAR being in a certain area and knowing it pretty well, like extremely well. Well, that's a limitation because unless it has been in that area or that kind of area, LiDAR expertise isn't that great, which is a problem uh, so that you know Waymo will do something called geofencing and will say we've been in this area, it's we know this area damn well so you can go full autonomous here but we haven't been here so you, you, you can't do that here. So that's a problem. Unlike Tesla and uh, uh, computer vision where the leading force is an uh, artificial intelligence network that is trained on deep learning, getting real real world data. A Tesla computer vision self-driving car can rock up to a certain area which it has never been to and start, you know, start recognizing stuff on the fly, which is significant. You know, it feels like we're shitting on Waymo and LiDAR a bit too much here. And it's easy to say when you look at the advantages that Tesla have with their computer vision, it's easy to say why would anyone want to use LiDAR? Uh, but it's not their problem. The real problem is that in order to be able to do what Tesla do, you need to have what Tesla have and that is a data set which is large, which is varied and is from the real world. And you've got to remember that Tesla have cars all around the world with their cameras on, with the customer cars, their cameras on, collecting data on real worlds all the time and that feeds into the Tesla deep learning network. And that is just a luxury that no other companies have. Let's say there's a problem. I heard this one recently. Let's say that your autonomous car is driving down the road and it sees a big plastic bag in the middle of the road and it detects that as an object, but it has to be trained for it to know that it's just a plastic bag. Don't hit the emergency brake and you know cause a collision behind you. Don't do that. How do you train that? And let's say in American roads, there's a stop sign, right? And there was this funny uh, photo where some kid had stolen the uh, stop sign from the middle of the road, from the side of the road, and he was carrying it on his back like that. So does the car see that stop sign and still stop? It shouldn't. It's got to be trained on that. And uh, another example, let's say, you know, people go on uh, bicycling tours or trips, they put their uh, a cycle racked onto the you know the back of the car when the car when the um, uh, you know uh, machine learning computer vision algorithm sees that should it recognize that as an active bicycle no it's just racked onto a car so these are different problems that can be solved by just you know getting real world examples from uh, different type different corners of the world and feed that into, into the algorithm and the next time it knows that this this bicycle is inactive it's just on the car so don't consider it as a, you know another bicycle that's moving that we need to take care of same way that you see a plastic bag in the middle of the road you recognize it as a plastic bag drive through it if you see a brick in the middle of the road then yeah stop companies like waymo and others they just don't have the luxury of having the level of data set that tesla have that's the reason they use lidar because they have to, you know, you think that idiots using adding an extra seven and a half thousand dollar LiDAR sensor on, a, on, on the car for no reason. So until they get to Tesla's level of data set, they have to use LiDAR and they're forced to go with this marketing play of even if it costs seven and a half thousand dollars, we don't care. We're going to use it. We're going to use LiDAR for safety, for excellence. They just have to say that. And in conclusion, I just want to say, I'm sorry if I made LiDAR seem like this burden technology that needs to be dropped any instant, you know, as soon as things get better, it's not. I do believe that LiDAR has some very good pros that need to be explored, especially as the you know technology evolves and the LiDAR sensors start getting cheaper because seven and a half thousand is a bit much. And besides, you know, it's always good to have different companies using different technologies to tackle the same uh, problem statement. Like for example, uh, electric vehicles, Tesla uses battery electric 
and uh, Toyota with their Mirai uses hydrogen fuel cells, electric vehicles and you know uh, hybrid vehicles. These are different technologies for the same going electric. So it's always good to explore everything is what I think. Let me know what you think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more and I will see you next time. Yon Barfe.